Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Wright here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended reporting a, a blocked right ear. Now the ear that we just examined was their left ear, so there was a bit of dead skin, a bit of dead keratin there, which we will remove um, at the, after we've completed their right ear. So this is their right ear, this is the one that was causing them mischief. And you can see it's fully blocked. Now in both ears they've got very, very narrow ear canal entrances. Uh, also, the, the rest of the remainder of the ear canal is also narrow. Um, so the way we're tackling this is that I'm holding the eye clear scope. So the eye clear scope is our endoscope. And uh, so an endoscope is a, um, almost like a telescope, um, a magnifying lens uh, with rod lenses. There's these special lenses that are, uh, are fitted inside um, the endoscope, which gives it its view. And um, you normally peer through the eyepiece of the endoscope with one eye so you close your if i'm using an endoscope without uh, the attachment the camera attachment that i've got onto the eye clear scope i would close my right eye and look through my left eye so i'm squinting looking through a small ip so the image is small um, so what we've done is um, the eyepiece of the endoscope we've attached it to the camera lens of a smartphone so i'm using currently an iphone se um, previously I was using an iPod Touch and they were pretty good because they were small and lightweight and affordable so um, we want to make it accessible to all the specialists that have come on our training courses. So the iPhone SE um, is probably the most affordable um, smartphone on the market at the moment from Apple and uh, the camera is really really good so slightly more heavier and bulkier uh, so it does take a bit more getting used to uh, but you can see we're um, you get a slightly better image than the iPod. Now, the iPod is brilliant. So, the eye clear scope, we're holding that. Um, uh, I'm holding that in my non dominant hand, so that's my left hand. And I'm using the tip of the endoscope. So, that the, the endoscope is the tip is at five centimeters long. So, the very end of that, the distal end of the tip, um, we're, I'm using that to stretch the cartilage to the left. So, you can see I'm opening up the ear canal. And I'm having to keep that ajar, so that left hand needs to be really, really steady, not only to open up the ear canal, so I can insert the instrument, which I'm holding in my right hand, so in this case a sucker, but also to visualise the wax. And you can see we're moving some large plugs of wax out there. And as we go further in the ear, it does widen, and that's the patient's eardrum. It's nice and healthy, slightly opaque. You can see these little white patches, so call that tympanosclerosis. It's a bit of scar tissue, but it's very mild. As we get older, we're more prone to that, the ear drum obviously over many many years um, in response to I mean you can get tympanosclerosis scar tissue on the ear for many reasons it could be um, a chronic infection but you'll probably see much more of a, a, a white of blots on the ear drum if that was the case um, acoustic trauma so loud sounds that are causing trauma to the ear canal barrow trauma so sometimes pressure changes in the ear so scuba diving or frequent flyer and sudden descents or ascents uh, the eardrum um, can get sucked in or pulled outwards. That can cause a bit of trauma. Uh, physical trauma, so any injuries to the head or to the ears uh, that affect the, ear, the eardrum can also cause, cause a bit of scar tissue. But I would say there's just more age-related scar tissue. It's just opaque. Um, just, now, as I said, um, they have got some otitis externa, some eczema of the ear canal, some dry skin. So I'm just gently peeling that away using a fine end suction um, tip. And again, I'm using that in my right hand. And this is just uh, near the entrance on the back part of the ear canal. It's a bit crusty there. So we're just going to peel that away. It's almost like a snake skin, that piece. There we are. You can see, um, so the ear canal also takes on uh, a sigma shape. So the sigma is at the S shape in the Greek alphabet. And it's got that curvature. And no one's at so ever told me, but I'm assuming that was um, that's an evolutionary um, uh, benefit having an S bend of the ear canal because it protects the eardrum. And I had a patient yesterday, and I'll try and upload the video in the next week or so. Um, they had the most severely bendy, twisty ears, and it was incredible. Actually, it's almost like a um, a chicane in a, uh, in a Formula One um, track. It was just un incredibly bendy. It's so hard to see the eardrum. So we're just peeling the skin away. Now it's coming away with a little resistance. Um, we don't want it to clarinet or be uncomfortable, but it was fine for the patient. There's no clarinetting. Now, whenever we're training our clear wax delegates, um, I always advise just 
to begin with, just don't be too worried about what we're doing here. This is, it comes a bit more training and experience. Um, the main thing is to get the patient hearing again, and we did that by removing the wax. Uh, when you're a bit more experienced and confident, you you should you'll be able to remove a bit more of this dry skin, and. Removing the dry skin in this patient was important for them because they did notice that they're still getting really itchy ears. And as soon as I removed it all, they were a lot, lot better. Now, of course, this dry skin is going to come back. They've got this condition, otitis externa. Um, they've, they've had medication in the past and it hasn't really helped. So, um, again, this can happen with age. As we age, the cells in our ears, the, the skin cells can dry up, become more flaky. So, a nice shot of the eardrum there. Just going to use the Jobson horn just at the entrance just to see you get this, some of this scaly skin off if I can. You can see it's crusted, it's embedded onto it. So Now because we're on the outer third of the ear canal, this is the cartilaginous portion, we can apply a bit more force, a bit more pressure. Um, we, we wouldn't be able to do this on the bony part. So if, as soon as we get past a, um, a centimetre in the ear canal, we've got to be very careful because it's so sensitive and delicate and there's nowhere we were to put that much force on the bony part would be incredibly painful for the patient. So, but on the outer third, the cartilaginous portion we can. So this is uh, the patient's left ear. You can just see how narrow that is. It's probably, I don't know if you saw that little pimple at the entrance of the ear canal. So here again, I'm stretching the ear open with the endoscope and I'm pushing the endoscope to the right now. To, to, so I can just, we have to stretch the ear to the right to, to open it up. Just using a fine end suction probe here. It's a thicker layer of skin. I'm just trying to detach that, but I think I'm going to have to use forceps to remove this. And again, they've got quite a bendy ear. So the forceps, I have to use the forceps to stretch the ear open. I've just kind of bitten, if that's the phrase. Um, close the jaws of the forceps on either side of this dead skin. Again, we can't see inside the ear. So I'm going to use the fine end now. I'm opening up the ear with a fine end this time. And we're just at the roof of the ear canal. You can see this dead skin. It's not wax, it's just dead skin. And we know that. You can see the ribbon effect on there and it's glossy. And it's sticky. It's adhered itself to the canal wall. It hasn't come off the canal wall. Um, the skin should migrate it's like a conveyor belt out of the ear. So I'm just peeling down and away. So considering how narrow and bendy this area is, we've done well to to get to get a lot of this dead skin out. Again, I'm just gonna go to the roof of the ear canal now. I'm trying to peel it down. You can see how bendy we have to really veer to the left. You've got a nice view of the eardrum, however. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all keeping well and safe. Um, do stay tuned. Uh, we'll upload some more videos during the course of the week. And remember, be nice and be kind to each other. Thank you. Bye.